Side-tracking techniques are also used to kick off the well in a lateral direction after the productive interval has been logged vertically. One of the controversial items on the horizontal wells is uh, where to hit your target. And one thing we're doing in this well to assist us in that is drilling a vertical well bore first. Uh, after we drilled the vertical well bore, we logged it and found it exactly where the fractured section was. So that narrowed our target down from 500 feet to approximately 50 feet. Uh, after narrowing it down then, we, the target is not all Austin chalk, the, the chalk itself. Uh, there's an in intervals of uh, shell that are stringers in between, not knowing for sure whether this entire 50 foot of fractured zone was a productive interval. Uh, we started out with the intention of crossing through the entire 50 foot of true vertical depth over the 3,000 foot length of our horizontal well. So we started at the top corner of one end of it and dropped through the 50 feet while we went through our 3,000 feet. Uh, there, shell, there was a shell stringer in the zone approximately 12 feet down in the 50 foot fractured interval. We found that above that shell stringer we did not have a, any productive interval. So we uh, backed up and sidetracked and learned something from it. Uh, we would have wasted approximately 700 foot of horizontal well bore by attacking that stringer uh, in our 3,000 foot section. So we backed up and now we're re-kicking off or sidetracking from our original plan and going under the shell stringer so that we can have a full 3,000 foot of pay. Sidetracking offers additional economic benefits to make older wells economically viable. In some of the older fields, uh, it's in particularly in areas that are environmentally sensitive, uh, it is easier to sidetrack out of an old well and get the permits to do this than to go through the lengthy process required uh, to plan uh, a new well uh, from, from ground zero, so to speak. So in some cases, even when the economics is not uh, clearly favorable for sidetracking, some other considerations such as environmental concerns uh, may make it a, a useful option. In the risky area of wild well control, Relief wells can be drilled using directional drilling techniques and equipment. A relief well provides an avenue for pumping drilling mud into the well bore of the wild well or blowout to kill the well. Some productive formations such as the Austin Chalk in South Texas can be produced more efficiently with a horizontal completion. Horizontal completion techniques increase production rates and reduce the tendency for vertical wells to exhibit water and gas coning this well is drilled horizontally mainly because of the formation. Uh, the Austin chalk is a very tight formation. It's not, it's not permeable and it doesn't give up its oil easily unless you can find these natural fractures that were created geologically. The idea of the horizontal well is to cross as many of these natural vertical fractures as possible because that's where we get our permeability from the formation is the oil flowing through these vertical fractures. So we're attempting to step out with approximately 3,000 foot of horizontal section and hopefully encounter several of these fractures, somewhere between 7 and 10 if we're lucky.